are so excited to be with you. We're at PGA National for the PGA Tour Superstores Game Changer Summit. It's an opportunity for associates from the superstores across the country to come together here over five days to learn about the latest and greatest in the game of golf. I'm Amy Rogers alongside Doug Smith, and I don't think there's anyone more excited here to check out all the gear than Doug. <laughs> no, there's so many new offerings this year from the manufacturers. We've got Callaway, Titleist, Ping, TaylorMade, Cobras launching drivers. This is a great time in 2024. It's going to be a fantastic year for gear, and I'm happy to be alongside of you. Yeah, and we are going to bring it all to you. We've got apparel, we've got shoes, we've got headwear, and of course, the latest in equipment. Mm -hmm. This is the 2024 Golf Gear Report presented by PGA Tour Superstar. Store. I'm pleased to be here alongside Todd Setsma, Central Florida sales rep for Ping with an exciting new addition to the lineup for 2024. Todd, tell me about this new driver. Yes, so this is the G430 10K Max. What the engineers have done with this driver is unbelievable. We took the technology from the LST that we had, which the carbon crown. Um, which gave the engineers five grams of weight in the crown to move lower and further back. And that's what causes the moment of inertia to go up so high. And the great thing about this driver is it's launching higher, but the engineers were able to bring the spin rate down. Mm. And so that combination is just high and really far. Yeah, tell me about some of the new materials that are being implemented in this driver as well. Yeah, so like I said, we have the carbon crown. And that is what we call carbon fly wrap. Mm. And the beauty of it is it wraps around, so it's not going anywhere. <laughs> um, what we did in the face is we actually shallowed the face, um, which allowed the engineers to make the face thinner. So our ball speed went up also. The average golfer that's going to play with this club, you mentioned how forgiving it is. How's it going to be able to help their game? Yeah, I mean, it helps everybody. And that's the beauty of this club. But I mean, you can hit this pretty much anywhere on the face and your spin rate stays consistent and the ball flight goes straight. Fascinating, the technology, yeah. how it's making us all play so much better. Yeah. Todd, thank you so much for walking us through it. You're welcome. Vokey Wedge Specialist, John Hobbegger. John, this year is an exciting year for Titleist because it's an exciting year for me and I'm outside looking in. Let's get right to it. Let's talk SM10. Anytime we're talking about uh, wedges, we talk about three keys to great wedge play. So number one, the first thing is we're talking about distance and trajectory control, yeah. okay? And with that, we're really kind of talking about our different CG placement within the head. So in our uh, 46 to 52, mm -hmm. uh, the CG's moved a little bit lower and now a little bit more towards center compared to some of our past models. So then the other thing is when we start getting into our higher loss, that CG has been moved a little bit higher and now Ooh. more forward, which is gonna produce a lower, more controlled ball flight. The next thing is the shot versatility aspect of the three keys to great wedge play, mm, right? I love shot versatility. When we talk about shot versatility, we're really talking about the grinds. We brought back the 54M grind okay. in SM10, which yeah. has been absent for the last uh, uh -huh. few uh, generations. And then we've added that 58T that's uh, in 60T, which we've continued in there. And then the last one that everybody kind of knows, spin. You got it. Right? Yeah, you got to do somewhere in there. Right. And that's where we're talking about our, our patented spin milled grooves. They still have that heat treatment process that kind of doubles the, the life of a wedge. Think like a searing a, a steak a little bit. Okay. It's a the process there. It's a good way to, I like to remember it. I'm never going to forget that. Every time I see a bulky <laughs> wedge now, especially SM10, I'm going to think steak sear. There you go. Reverse that's, that's sear. Good. That's right. And it keeps it, it, keeps it lo lasting as long as possible. Well, John, I appreciate the deep dive into the Vokey. I hit it. It's soft, much softer than the previous iteration. Uh, we're going to talk about what my set makeup is going to look like, but go get fit and maybe at a PJ Tour Superstore. I'm joined by Ryan Ellis, CEO of Travis Matthew, with an exciting new technology for this year. Describe this fabric in this shirt. Yeah, it's pretty unbelievable. It took storm this last year. Now we're doing it in a very big way. So this is our sublimated featherweight. It's proprietary. We actually have a deal with the manufacturer. We're the only ones that use this fabrication. As things have gotten more and more athletic and more casual at the same time, especially in golf, the customer's gotten more savvy. So he wants something that doesn't wrinkle, doesn't shrink, easy to treat. He also wants a certain weight, very lightweight, but not too light, right? He wants a casual look, but he wants an athletic feel. And so that's what this does. It really changes our normal 60-40 cotton poly blends to this 80-20 poly cotton blend. Holds up really well, dries really quick. Been a fan favorite. Yeah, this is a fantastic fabric. Looks good and feels good too. 
All right, well, Doug is over there hitting some balls, checking out the latest and greatest from Callaway. We're going to learn a little bit more about the technology uh, behind these clubs and their latest designs for 2024. Here to fill me in is Brian Williams. He's the VP of Research and Development at Callaway. And I'm sure you've heard about the Paradigm that came out last year, but mm -hmm. this is sort of a new version. Interesting take, the AI Smoke. Yeah. What it makes this product so unique? Yeah, for us, a real breakthrough in how we use AI to develop golf clubs. It's a journey we've been on for 15 years, figuring out how to harness AI as kind of a machine learning type uh, design tool. And we're asking uh, the supercomputer to solve for an improved downrange result for the player. Uh, we're doing that by using what we call micro deflection. So our face can deflect in a really unique way. Uh, we can resist uh, side spin on heel locations, as an example. We can improve consistency of spin up and down the face. Uh, we can even influence uh, start line and, and launch trajectory. So we're doing something that uh, we've never done before. We haven't seen anybody else do before. Uh, and the results have been really encouraging for us. All right, let's take a look at the irons. Also, yeah. Paradigm AI Smoke. We've really looked to use the same approach for drivers all the way through to our iron. So what we did was we, uh, we bifurcated our line. We have the Smoke Iron here, which is an iron that's designed and built for players with speed. Um, that player typically doesn't struggle with launch or with spin. And so we've used AI to really work that same approach on the driver, uh, using face deflection to improve off-center shots and mm. overall longer, straighter shots with this package. And then we contrast that with the uh, Smoke HL, which is just a nice one-two punch for us to have out there. It's an iron that's more for players that have slower swing speeds who struggle with strong lofted packages. Um, and we've used AI in that space to really optimize for increased launch and spin. Incredible what AI technology is able to do, even in fun. the game of golf. Yep. Brian, thanks for the time. You're welcome, thank you. I've always wondered about speed. If it's light speed, well, Cobra this year said, hey, we're going dark speed. We're the vice president of marketing. Jose, let's talk a little bit about the dark side, I guess you could say, in the <laughs> new offering from Cobra. The dark speed family of Metalwoods shares a lot of things. And this year we're talking, as always, speed. And we're delivering this year with a whole new reimagined driver. You're holding the Dark Speed 8 Degree LS. Well, I'm gonna let you hold it so you can point to the features. All right, so the Dark Speed 8 Degree LS is the most aerodynamic shape we've ever put into a driver. So what that means is the frontal area of the face, super softened, right, streamlined for, <laughs> for aerodynamics, and then that carries on to a taller crown and a really raised aft. That holds the streamline or the airflow and lets you have your swing with a little bit more speed. More speed means more ball speed, which means more distance. So that's a technology that's primarily on the drivers. What carries on through the driver and the ferry was are some internal technologies like this reimagined power bridge inside. We know if we position weight forward, you're gonna get more speed. Mm -hmm. If we position it low, it's gonna keep the spin down. So that's what we do in the fairway and hybrid as well. And the third technology is this PowerShell face. It's an L-cup style face, and not only welds on the front, but also welds underneath, allowing us to control the flexion mm -hmm. or speed around the center of the face. Some great technologies that are really made to help you as a golfer, whether you hit in the center or off center, retain your speed. So great offering. So if you want to walk on the dark side, why not try Cobra this year? You can find it at your PGA Tour Superstore. I'm here with Nike's Jeff Stewart. He is the director of Strategic Channels, here to talk about what is the latest and greatest for Nike this year. And we're going to talk about some footwear. Tell me, what is unique about these, Jeff? Well, a couple of uh, styles I'd like to highlight here is our iconic Air Max 186 OG. This is kind of the original. and. One of those styles that, that people look at, and it's just quintessential Nike with the uh, the wind four window airbag in there. And this is out in the market. Uh, it's got the gum sole to it, uh, so very retro looking. And uh, this is out in uh, January. Um, we expect big things from this shoe this year. It's a great look. Sneakerheads, Nike, they've got the shoe for you. St. Andre, what's happening, y'all? How y'all living today? Yeah, we're doing good, man. Summit, Summit rules. We're having yeah. a good time. Now, I want to get to the name, St. Andre, because I think that's probably the most interesting name for a golf related thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, started a year and a half ago. 
We are golfers love kind of, you know, the history, the, the sport, the, uh, the legends. So St. Andrews, yeah. you know, home of golf. And then we're all Atlanta based. Big Atlanta people. So Andre 3000 from Outcast. It's a little bit old school golf, a little bit Atlanta. Put them together. Hey, yeah. Uh, so, like, hey, pretty good. That's yeah, roses. Nice. Yeah, we're just listening songs. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Nice. Real good. There you go. If you haven't checked out the, the their accounts, their podcast, do it all. How do people get a hold of you? Follow you? Just come to my house. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Bye, Doug. Bye, Doug. Here with Jacob Davidson, we're talking about putters. In a summary of this putter, it's all about speed. Odyssey historically has had a competitive advantage with our putters because of the insert. Because of the insert, we're able to do things that other competitors couldn't do. And so what we did is we worked with our supercomputer. We asked it, we said, hey, how can we make the most consistent speed across the face? With this new insert that has variable face thickness, there's not as much of a loss of speed. Tell us a little bit about the backside. No one ever really looks at the back of the putter, but I think all the magic is in the back of this one. Yeah, when we designed it with AI, we want to really showcase with that. We wanted to give consumers something that they could visibly see. So we're excited about this new innovative window that we put in the back of our blades in the AI One line. In that back of that cavity right there, you can see the insert. Yeah. You can see VFT, what we call variable face thickness. What that does is it allows that white hot insert on the back of an aluminum backer to flex differently when you mishit that putt. Now, we have the white hot, came out years ago, we all know and love it, but now we also have this milled offering. Yes, so in the, in the milled offering right here, you'll see it actually is a fully milled putter, but what we did is we took a champagne titanium insert right here. So <laughs> if you look at this insert, you can see the back of it, it's not flat. Um, and that's where the AI comes in and designs the different face thicknesses. Comparatively to the white hot, you can see the difference between those two. Totally different backs, totally different thicknesses, and that just has to do with the material properties of these two different putters. If I'm going to PJ Superstore and I'm making a decision about what putter I'm going to use for 2024, why am I picking this one? That's very easy. I think you can summarize it best by saying you can either putt with it or you can putt against it. Ooh. This is the most forgiving putter in golf, having the most consistent speed across the face. We know the best players in the world miss hit putts. We know that consumers do. If you want a putt that's going to help you three putt less, then these are the right putters for you. Have you seen two better looking Dougs? Probably not. Doug Bybee, Doug Smith, we're talking about Cleveland wedges right now. And you have a bouquet of wedges, Doug. We do. The first option that we have is called the Cleveland Smart Soul. And basically we call this a, uh, a wedge system with uh, training wheels. This wedge system is designed for the player that needs all the help they can get. You know, it's not designed to really benefit anybody other than the person that really struggles to get the golf ball off the ground, the ball out of the bunker and other things. So it's designed for that player. CBX4 is brand new. It launched in mid-January, which is uh, exciting for us because th this is our uh, bread and butter. Most other companies do not offer a cavity back wedge, and so we want to cater to that golfer, that player that needs a little bit more forgiveness and a little bit more help. So this is really a new offering for them. We have tour players that use the CBX. It's going to help anybody out there. Some players like you know the, the last one we're going to look at, which is the RTX. Basically, what we have uh, a couple of different options here. This is the RTX. This is the tour wedge that we offer. Two options here. This is the tour rack, which is a little different finish. There's no chrome, and it's unfinished. It's going to rust and you know be a little more rougher look. This is the uh, tour satin, which has a chrome finish as well. And if you look at this, th so I turned this over. This version is the full face. And this version is the uh, traditional look. So it has the grooves and then obviously no grooves on the toe, but this is the full face. The interesting thing about wedges and the reason we design a full face is when you open up a wedge and you hit a flop shot, most people, they cut underneath it and where do you hit it on the golf club? Toe. High toe. And again, full face is something that we have a lot of tour usage as well. 83% of all golfers uh, use a game improvement or super game improvement iron. And then we walk them over and we put them in a tour wedge, which is a mistake. We need to actually do the, you know, them a service by putting them in the right wedge, which is where these uh, super game improvement and game improvement wedges come in and they're cavity back. Well, such a great point and such a great option. I've hit this wedge, I've played it, uh, I've played around with it as well. It doesn't feel like a, a game improvement wedge. It feels like that in, in my opinion, but don't take any of my word as valid or even Doug's. Go get fit at your local PGA Tour Superstore today and feel the change or the difference that these wedges can make in your golf game and journey.
I'm joined by Pete Cahillis, Director of Sales for Mizuno. Some exciting new developments when it comes to irons for Mizuno this year. You guys are certainly known uh, for your irons, but these are a little bit unique. Tell me why. Yeah, it's, it's unique. You know, the Mizuno Pro line, you know, calls on Mizuno's heritage. You know, a lot of people look to us for players muscle back and, and, and t clubs that are widely accepted on the PGA Tour. You know, the challenge there is when you're looking at clubs that are sleek and compact at address, how can you power pack that with a lot of the technology? And we've done that. So we like to call it our new age of forging, but we use different materials and different processes to create faster ball speeds, higher launch, and better performance for the golfer. And how do you feel like these could make the average golfer a little bit better? Well, everything is sort of disguised. We use a lot of hidden technology. So we use the Mizuno Pro 245 is actually a hollow body muscle back with uh, internal tungsten weighting. It looks like a muscle back at address, but launch is nice and high. The 243, uh, takes advantage of chromoly material, which is a, a unique material, something only Mizuno does, to create a very, very thin face, again, creating higher ball speeds, and then in the 241, enhancing all the feel that a better player would look for. And Mizuno has some exciting developments, not only with the irons, but with the drivers as yeah. well. And you're having some early success this season, already a winner this season on the PGA yeah. Tour. Absolutely, very excited about that. The S2230 Max line uh, is new for 2024. Uh, incorporates a lot, a lot of new technology. And paired with the new T24 wedges and the Amoe putters, we've really got a club for all 14 clubs in the bag. Yeah, some exciting developments all the way through the bag from Mizuno this year. Pete, thanks for walking us through it. Thank you. I am pleased to be alongside Scott Davis, North America CEO for Jay Lindbergh, and some exciting news coming out for the next couple years involving Jay Lindbergh. Tell me what's happening. We're, we're excited as well. Um, we signed the deal with the USA Golf and USA Olympics to be the sole provider for apparel for both the men's and women's golf teams, both for Paris, which is obviously coming up this year, as well as for Los Angeles in 2028, which we're really excited about. Yeah, thrilling opportunity. You're gonna get to watch some of your fan favorites compete in Jay Lindbergh. Yeah, it might be red, white, and blue too, we'll just say. <laughs> Mr. Cruz, that's, that's a hell of a lot better than that shot I'm seeing on Instagram right What's now. What's up, baby? What's yeah, good, they, man? How you been? They did me dirty on the gram, man. They Why they can't show they, my good shots, you know what I mean? Didn't you eagle the first hole I that day? I eagled the first hole. They could've got that. They should've they, got they that. They should've showed it. But they should've got it. Like, what are you doing here at this PGA Superstore Game Changer Summit? <laughs> it's interesting because I'm in PGA Superstores a lot, right? So I'm seeing some familiar faces, some guys that helped me out with my game, coming up saying what up. But man, I'm, I've am i become an avid fan of the game of golf, man, and I've been uh, somewhat addicted, if you will. Now I watch golf every day. I watch one swing on T, I'm like, ah, I gotta go hit some balls. I gotta well, let's see what's something about the technique from Rory that you kind of like to okay. see. Oh man, you, this is the pressure. Now you put pressure. Well, on because me. again, I've seen you now not you hit this club on. well, so I want. I, yeah. This is a redemption moment. Yeah. Okay. See, that is the exact opposite that we saw you do, and that's playable yeah. on every like, course. Can, we film, are, can you? Can I count on you to put that on socials and film as that? As soon as I and find get my that phone, out. No, I got you. Hey, y'all heard it from Victor Cruz. He's going to PGA Tour Superstore to get fit for his club, so you probably should go too. I'll tell you what, we all could use a fresh 10K right now, but the guys at TaylorMade have actually figured out and put it into their new line of drivers with the QI10 series. Brian Basil, how'd you get 10K out of this? 10K is a measurement of inertia, a moment of inertia, which is the resistance to twisting on those off-center shots. Mm -hmm. And so it's the measurement high to low, and heel to toe. And when you're hitting those shots, and it's a game of misses, right? So if you're gonna miss hit that shot, you want the club to stay incredibly stable, you want the ball speed to be as fast as possible, and you want that ball in the fairway. So this is our third generation of the carbon face, 60 layers. The collar that holds the face is new. It's the only titanium in the head, and it's more flexible. Mm. So that face and the collar kind of rebound together, mm. so you get more ball speed as well in offsetter shots from that. We go from the driver now, I'm gonna switch you here. Let's talk iron tech. Yeah. What is in this QI for this season? All right, clean, elegant look here, right? We got a cap back on the outside, so it's hiding actually a lot of the technology. You see the speed pocket here, but this is all about straight distance. So the, we make fast face flexible irons uh, in the game improvement space. And because that toe is higher, that is higher and more flexible, we need to counteract that. So at TaylorMade, we have patented technology to adjust that face geometry so that each iron throughout the set goes straight. It has no bias. It's designed perfectly for a straight ball. 
Well, if you're looking for a place to test the new tailor-made offerings for 2024, I know a good spot. Try PJ Tour Superstore. I'm pleased to be joined by Jill Spiegel, president of the PGA Tour Superstore. Jill, this is such a huge week for you, the 12th edition of this summit with all your associates coming together. Why has it been so important for you to host this event year after year? Yeah, well, it, it's been exciting, and we've done this 12 years in a row, even during COVID. We took it virtual. Um, the two years, we couldn't do it in person, and the first time we did it, we had less than 20 stores. We're now at 66, so we're training over 300 people, and it's incredibly important to us for three reasons. First of all, our associates, we call them our real pros. They are the real pros, and we want them to be armed with all the latest, greatest product knowledge so they can better serve the customer. It's important for our vendor community to interact with our associates because they're the ones that are closest to the customer, and they get the feedback from the customer. So our vendor partners love to hear, what are the customers saying? Tell us how we can do better with our product. And third and most importantly, the customers benefit from this. We have new vendors here, um, some new brands that we haven't had in the past, Johnny O, Peter Millar, um, G4, Lily Pulitzer. So some of the new brands that we've added over the last couple of years, but they leave not only with product knowledge, but, you know, our whole senior leadership team is here. So not only are they learning about products and how to better serve the customer, but it's also a big culture infusion. They're learning about the company and what's important to us and our core values and, and what guides us every day in running our business. Sky's the limit for PGA sure Tour is. Superstore. Sure is. Drill, we appreciate you spending some time Thanks, with us. Thanks, Amy. Thanks for being here. Certainly, all the associates with the PGA Tour Superstore learned so much being here all these days, learning about the latest and greatest uh, coming out in the golf space. And we hope you learned a lot, too. And don't forget, anything that you saw during the show, of course, you can go and get at your PGA Tour Superstore. Doug, what were your takeaways? My biggest takeaways are, you know, this is probably top to bottom some of the best offerings from each manufacturer, maybe in the history of the game of golf. And to understand the tech, and to understand what makeup is right for you, what shaft head combination, putter length, et cetera, make sure you go get fit. PJ Tour, Tour Superstore, great place to do that. Um, and I got to figure out what I'm going to put in the bag for this year. Like, <laughs> a a lot little of bit of everything. A lot of decisions <laughs> to make for me. All right, well, they're packing it in. We're going to pack it in as well. That does it for us. For Doug Smith, I'm Amy Rogers. Thanks for joining us for the 2024 Golf Gear Report presented by PGA Tour Superstore. <laughs>